Let's talk about the oboe. The oboe is a member of the woodwind section in the modern orchestra. It has a total range of B flat 3 to G6, or the B flat just below middle C, to the G above high C. Now this range is traditionally broken down into three distinct registers. The low register spans from B flat 3 to about E4, and has a general dynamic range of around mezzo forte to fortissimo, or just somewhat loud to really loud. This register has a thick, raw, and somewhat primal sound, especially when using shorter articulations. This is a non-preferred register for the instrument, which doesn't mean you can't use it, just that you shouldn't expect a particularly emotional or expressive performance within this range. The middle register spans from approximately F4 to A5, or the F above middle C to the A at the top of the treble clef and it has a general dynamic range of piano to forte, or soft to loud. This register is particularly lyrical, expressive, and emotional, making it a prime candidate for introspective melodies. The upper register spans the remainder of the instrument's range, and has a general dynamic range of pianissimo to mezzo forte or super soft to somewhat loud. This register has an increasingly thin and pinched tone color, making it another non-preferred register for the instrument. Now, naturally, none of these registers have a hard starting or stopping point. They all tend to blend into each other on a spectrum. And the deeper you move into any of the three, the more pronounced its personality will become. The oboe is largely a melodic instrument and can be used to perform beautiful emotional solo melodies, or to provide a somewhat edgier and more articulate sound when doubling other instruments. Now, it's important to note that the oboe is not as agile as the flutes or clarinets, and it won't typically work with fast runs or ostinati, but it will often be used to perform simplified variations of these lines that help to emphasize the most important notes and beats. All in all, it's a beautiful instrument with tons of potential. So try using it in your next arrangement. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.